Welcome to the Exact Contact tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will show you how to start customizing your agent website by adding your personal branding and using some simple design customization options. Upon logging into your website control panel, you are presented with a menu with a number of customization options. This tutorial will focus on the personal information and appearance sections. To start customizing your website, click the personal information button. Certain information, including your name, your website title, your company name, your company address, and your phone number are auto-populated based on the information in your user profile in your exact contact CRM. This information can be overridden and you can also complete the remainder of your personal information. First, enter your title. Then, if you have a personal slogan, that you wish to appear under your name in your site header, enter it here. If you don't have a personal slogan, you can either leave it blank, or you can also select one from a list of suggestions in the list below that we provide. You can also select one of our suggestions and overwrite it to make it your own if you wish. The name format option provides some choices for what is displayed in the header of your site. You can either display your name, your website title, or if you have one, a personal logo picture. If you want to use a personal logo picture, select the Use Personal Logo option and then click the Upload button. At this point, your media library appears. Your media library is your own personal storage area where you can upload picture files for use in various places on your website. To upload your personal logo picture file, select the Upload Files tab, click the Select Files button, select the picture file from your computer, and click Open. Once the file is uploaded and displayed in your media library, click the Choose Image button in the bottom right corner of the pop-up and your personal logo is selected. The remainder of the information on the personal information page is displayed on the contact page of your website. This includes the company name, email address, company address, and up to three phone numbers. The email address is not set by default as many agents do not wish to include their email address directly on their website. If you wish to display your email address on your contact page, you can enter it here. The primary phone number is what displays in the header and the footer of your website without a label. If you wish to enter a label for your main phone number and enter additional email, ad, uh, sorry, email, additional phone numbers that will display on your contact page with labels, you can enter those here. After you've entered all of your personal information, click the Save Changes button and your website will automatically update to reflect your changes. You can see what your website looks like at any time by clicking your website title in the top left corner of the page. And there's my updated home page with the title I entered and my personal slogan. And if I go to the contact page, there are the phone numbers with labels that I added, my email address, as well as my company name and my company address. Click your website title again in order to return to your website control panel. Next, we'll go through some simple site design options that you can use to customize the overall look of your website. Start by clicking the Appearance button in the main menu. The initial color palette and banner image selections are based on the design you chose when you initially set up your site, but these can be changed at any time. The color palette, highlighted in green, is your current choice. Simply click another palette in order to change it. Do the same thing if you wish to change your banner image. We have provided an extensive library of fully optimized high resolution images to choose from. Click the page numbers at the bottom 
of the image list in order to see additional images. You can click the Enlarge link below any image in order to see a larger version. To add your photo and company logo that will appear in your site letter, scroll back up and click the Upload button next to each one. Add the picture files from your computer to your media library using the same steps as described above for the personal logo. I have already uploaded an agent photo and company logo and will select these pictures. Next, you can add a banner quote that will appear on your site homepage over top of the banner image. Like the personal slogan options described before, if you already have your own quote you wish to use, you can simply manually enter it. Or if not, you can select from a number of preloaded selections that we have provided. Once again, you can also select one of our preloaded options and tweak it to make it your own if you wish. When you have made all of your changes, be sure to click the Save Changes button. If you view the website again, you will see that the site header has automatically been up updated to include your photo, your logo, as well as your selected banner quote. If you wish to change the design theme that you selected during the setup of your site, you can do this by returning to the website control panel and clicking theme options in the left menu. The theme encompasses the overall layout of the website design, including a vertical or horizontal menu design. The current or active theme is shown first. You can easily switch to another theme by hovering over the theme, clicking on the theme details to see a larger picture of the theme layout, and clicking the activate button that appears at the bottom of the pop-up. Once again, your site will immediately update uh, to reflect the new theme. These are the first steps you should take in order to add your personal branding and customize the appearance of your website. You can watch other tutorial videos in order to learn how to further customize and add content to your site.